Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 no. No, 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 get a jiggy with it. No, 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 no. I asked you guys to take me to 40, and you dropped me to 38 again, 39, 38, 37, again 38. Take me to 40, man, and I guess I lost two subscribers, and they were 100-person Hex bag holders, okay? Hex, Ponzi, Pulse Chain, whatever you want to call it, bag holders. Yo, listen, I don't like Hex groups anyways, man. Why are you guys still hanging around? I don't understand. When I said in the first place it was a Ponzi, no, man, I think you should get early. Oh, you're a hater. Now it's a Ponzi. Now what? Now you're holding bag? Uniswap delisted? Anyways, you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, effing moron, man. Like, you should understand. Just like this dude. Why well, I don't feel bad for Hex founder Richard Hart's victims? Neither do I, man. Especially, also, I don't feel bad for those holding Elio Trades NFTs or, yeah, Alex Becker's NFTs or whatever. Logan Paul CryptoZoo NFTs. That's a different case, maybe, because they fell victim. But yeah, Hex is a total different story. Maybe the Securities and Exchange Commission can finally convince Hex and Pulse Chain devotees that they've been cheated. It was just clear. It's so stupid because now they need some validation. This is a problem. Well, you know what? When I said they, I'm talking about the, um, obviously, the bag holders. You people are cool, right? You follow my channel. You don't hold that Hex, do you? I mean, you don't hold Super Farm and all those Ponzi garbage, MM Finance and all. No, right? I mean, if you do, you got to think about it now. This is the time, man. You value it. And yeah, I don't, I don't feel bad anymore, literally. Like, because we do our best to put out there. And people who are, well, logically smart enough, if that's a decent term to use, right? Or I might get demonetized. YouTube is going to demonetize me. Oh, wow. YouTube won't send me traffic anymore. You know what? Fuck you, YouTube. And fuck your monetization, YouTube. Like, seriously, I barely make, what, pennies in the, every, uh, every time I put a video. So, doesn't matter. Anyways. Maybe the Securities Exchange. You guys need validations that it's a Ponzi. There you go. Now you are... Oh, now I guess it's real. When they were saying it's a Ponzi, no. But now it's real. It's a Ponzi. It's a bad. It's illegal. Whatever. <laughs> On Monday, July 31st, the US Securities Exchange filed a series of civil charges against Richard Hart. The founder and relentless promoter of re related hex. Hold on. He's the promoter of hex? I thought he was the promoter of Gucci or LV. I mean, that guy's a fucking walking billboard, man moron anyways the associate tokens which have already been what that's really hard to pronounce man i'm gonna pass after the dis disappointing launch of pulse chain dropped another 50 percent or more on the news the charges come after nearly five years of warnings from crypto watchers five years that these projects were scams and the sec agrees including fraud amongst allegations against blah 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 blah, blah. okay anyways i don't want to see any of these now right and this is exactly what happens boom dumb it's gone okay Good luck. And guess what? Maybe some people are buying back. Oh, maybe this is XRP case. Hex is going to be back again because Richard is going to fight the SSEs and bring back Hex from the deep beneath the volcanoes. Yeah, sure. Good luck with that. So probably they're buying. Oh yeah, let's just buy some. Maybe it's going to come back. Yeah. Do your research, guys. Please do your research. All right. And what other one things I wanted to say? Well, now if you want to think about it before even I want to read any news, I really nothing much going on beside x whatever and then you have lawsuits you have a lot of other ponzi's and rock pulls a lot of rock pulls right now because it's kind of the end regulations all hitting in so they're they're gonna do whatever they can maximize steal credit cards do whatever they can so you gotta you gotta, you gotta be extra careful right now any project that comes out right now you're gonna be extra very careful because it's, it's really bad time and everything it doesn't make it doesn't add up that's what i'll tell you all right sam bankman free lawyers push back and on the other hand, they're bringing back FTX 2.0. Congratulations. We are going to make it. Good luck trading on FTX 2.0 and on. And beside that, if you think about it for a second, and I really don't want to read any other news. I'll come back with something else tomorrow or maybe the after, if there's anything worth talking about. Right now, it's all about AI, right? AI and all the tokens are mooning while all the crypto is literally dumping. Like, it's, it's not really that good. But regardless, it's, still, it's not so bad, right? Bitcoin's still holding at 29,000, right? More or less. But unfortunately, Luna, what's up with Luna? Think about this. People forgot about it. I you know, literally saw my $100,000 go down to zero, dust. And I still have some Luna stuck, wasted, so-called, which is not even under my control. So Dok1, before going to jail or whatsoever, had literally locked up all the tokens. Wow. We have to hold it till 2024 or infinity. 
And then you have Kadena, another something I should have talked about. These are some of my um, bad trades, I would say, or still don't know yet, because you were supposed to not buy in the bull run. Now, maybe we could research and figure out which tokens might do some decent gates, right? But again, it's really hard to say. Look at Sui, look at ARB, everything else. All right. If I was you, if I were you, I would focus on layer ones. All right. But not now. Accumulation zone, whatever, whatever you want to call that. If you want to start accumulating, just start doing your research. Okay. And XPR, Proton, man, I literally have um, no hope. All right. That dude, what's his name? Marshall? Marshall Wiener? Yeah. Dude, just, he can just hold his Wiener, man, for the rest of his life, I guess. I mean, he's milking, basically. He can't milk his, he can't do the other shit, so he's milking this thing, man. He can't milk his Wiener, so he's just milking this thing. So, anyways, cutting that out, I feel like, guess what's going to happen next? Safu? Have you not seen the um, crypto, uh, what, CoffeeZilla? I need to show you this real quick. So, CoffeeZilla, obviously, called him out, right? Check this out. Coffeezilla. Yes. This is freaky, man. Wow. <laughs> so anyways, this is what's happening in the Safu section. Coffeezilla. If you lost money with Safu, this was ha going to happen, right? I want to talk to you. Big investigation is happening. I'm not going to play this video, but maybe check on the, some of the, yeah. <laughs> Just go check on the, man, how do you, th this big old farce promote a Ponzi? Brian... Armstrong? No, that's not Brian Armstrong. What's his name? Legend? Pulses and Pro That's not his real name. He obviously changed it. But anyways, Safu, Sifu. Just look at all these things. Safu, Sifu, Vondal and Time, Super Farm, Superverse, Imposters. And I believe so. Imposters, the same Elio trades. It's going to happen. Yo, tell me how is not, whatever he did, how is that uh, not legal? Like, not illegal. Like, all right? Matter of fact, I have this entire thread on this dude. And you should check this out. Literally. It shows you from the beginning. This is the metaverse First, you're talking about? I'll have, I told you I'm going to have a video on this. That metaverse is $62 million worth, which is monetized with Google AdSense. That's what you get to see Google ads when you land on the page. That's how they make money. How do we make money? Playing the game? Oh, man. How is this legal? Tell me this. All right. That dude came up with Evo token. Failed. Tron chat failed. Pizza Edo failed. Electric NFT still on blockchain. OpenSea failed. Uh, that's like shows you narcissism, right? Based on him and his girl. Uh, Elliot, then we have Super Farm gone, Superstarter, whatever, Imposters. What next? What next? Find out next. Let's see. Then uh, this is my thing. SEC, I'm just curious is this legal? Because if Richard Hart got sued for whatever, right? Like raising millions unregistered. What about this? Super Farm Elliot Trades. Like he's a US citizen legally, right? He raised millions using Elliot Trades NFTs. Hey, listen, don't listen to me. Just go very far. It's out there. Elytra's NFTs on OpenSea and all that, right? So he has his Elytra's NFTs raised millions. I don't know what they do, number one. Second, he raised from the pre-IPO, the launch of uh, Super Farm. And we all know ICOs, they are just AKA Ponzi, in other way. And literally, it's mainly done to make the insiders and the VCs rich. Because once they're listed, get, go and check what happened to the price. It went up all the way to four and a half dollars, thousand X. And then this dude did some defrauding, whatever. And then the whole thing dropped to whatever right now, pennies right now. People are still holding bags, okay? And that's one of the reason that token was listed on all the exchanges because it was getting so much volume because of the, it's backed by some influencer, YouTuber, right? So exchanges make a lot of money from fees while these dudes are insiders are milking. Guess who's getting wrecked? My buddies, you. Sad. Again, look at this. Cashed in on starter, super starter IDEO, all right? So he had super starter. They listed Donkey token and Coal Stack. They raised money for that. So they got paid to list those, right? How is that legal in USA? I'm just curious. Like, SEC went after Richard for that same kind of reason. How is this then not getting, you know? So, yeah, coffee, coffee, bro. And all of you buddies, if you're watching this video, maybe take it and put it out there, man. Like, do you want yourself or your, uh, what, your sister or your mother or your future people to get scammed again? Or really follow the same footsteps? Like, would you tell your kids, go watch this guy's video, like Elutra's video, go buy into Super Farm? Would you? I'm just curious. Maybe you won't, right? But if you don't even take action, then they will somehow, sooner or later, will fall a victim, right? So rather, take precautions now, all right? So again, multiple hidden raises. So many NFTs and all these reasons. Now, what do you get at the end of the day? The dude is still milking 
from YouTube ads and videos every single day. He's a marketer. What happened to all the games? Nothing. He's going to come back with another raise again. So this needs to stop. All right. This has to stop. I'm a competitor. Like, you know, we all are in this space. And if you don't clean up the space, the stuff that we love so much, crypto, AI, and all this stuff, man, no, not cool. There's no chance for development or growth, ladies and gents. So anyways, had to put it out there, all right? You hate it or like it. Now later, when everybody finds out, oh, SEC sued, allegedly, Elliot Trades for all these Ponzi's. Oh man, Rebel was right all along. So you all need some validations, right? And hence, I'm trying my best. Coffeezilla to take note or somebody, but I, I guess people are so busy and there's so much going on, so much of news that most of this get buried. And hence, I have to use automation to literally find ways to, you know, create bots and spread around, right? Doing my part, not doing anything unethical or illegal, just trying to spread awareness, practicing my first and second amendment, right? <laughs> second amendments. Anyways, I'm out. All right. I'll come back with my next video. Thanks for listening to your pep talk. My pep talk, not yours. And my rant. Peace.